I said in my rankings piece that we hadn't read much of Tedano Fuji since May. Well, just after the chart emerged, we heard from him. So let me translate. It's true I didn't go to other stables, he said of his recent regime. But it's not as if I have a shortage of sparring partners here. Anyway, it matters not where I go. Most of my training now is off the dohyo. Muscle building ETC. External training is great for younger wrestlers wanting to get bouts under their belts. But I don't fight much in practice these days. I've gone about things in my own way and feel ready for July. Asked about his latest title chances, Teru said, I've won a July tournament in Tokyo two years ago, but never in Nagoya. So obviously that's something I want to achieve for my patrons and fans down there. I came mighty close last time, right? Oh, how can we forget? Much has been said, and will be said, about the call to promote his colleague Nishiki Fuji over Hidenomi and Ryuden. But it's crucial to stress that at this level, all men are fine fighters, and ability-wise, no promotion can be undeserved. Thus, of his confirmed Division 1 debut, does Nishiki Fuji say, it really hit home when I woke Monday morning to find dozens of warm messages on my phone. In the tournament, I want to hit hard and use my speed, ideally with frontal grip, to get results. Numerical targets only weigh me down, so I'll focus on each bout and try to deliver something worthy of a prize at the end. Nishiki has fought many times with visiting training partner Meisei this month, averaging between 40 and 60 bouts a day in total. And in Nagoya, he looks forward to tackling fellow Aomori native Onosho, who always seemed to thwart him in schoolboy sumo. Meanwhile, returning Asanoyama has changed his sumo first name from Hideki, that of his late junior sumo coach, to Hiroki, his real name. We understand through stable sources, as he's forbidden to give interviews, that the name change is in homage to his late father, who so dearly wanted to see him return. He'll be watching from above, no doubt, is what Asanoyama believes. Finally, I promised you that message from Uda. It is in response to the 15 of you who wrote to him, and whose letters I delivered for his birthday last week. The message reads, I am so grateful for the words of support and concerns of fans around the world. I may have turned 30, but I'll try my hardest to be fighting for a long time yet. I then explained how I intended to give these messages to him on tour, but felt they'd have more impact on his milestone birthday, to which he replied, they are indeed a boost. Thank you so much. If he has more specific comments, I will get them from him on tour. While the internet mainly chooses to gape at Sumo, this channel really tries to shape. So, let's continue to shape and make even a little difference to Sumo wrestlers' lives.